Perfect. Oh, I can embrace a doodle. Do it! Delightful. Alright, now walk home. You pop down here. Well, that's gonna give me some trade in India now. Well, more. what will happen to Vige? I don't know. They were dead by the time I got here. They were dead before I got here. So no complaints here. I, my par for army professionalism is finally almost 20%. I've, I burned through it so many different times. I've gone to war with so many, like, really, really tough wars. Ah, oh, man, that's good. How's the economy now? Nice. Trade income, 532 and going up. Spoils. Oh, you know what? This guy needs to get annexed, too. Can I? Yeah, I can. Confirm that. Just to get him off the list and off the map. Oh, Theologian's dead. What do we got? Production efficiency, missionary strength. Evangelical mission. Cantor gets evangelical... Even okay. I mean, these guys apparently I can't do... Okay. So I guess the missionary guy doesn't matter. Prestige, inflation, which is zero. So I guess we'll just take the production guy. He's fine. And then I think we could pop over here. Make sure that these get added to the trade company. There we go. Delightful. How much of this trade? Tra I don't control a lot of this trade right now. The flying shuttle. Woo! We're really good at looming. 7%. Not that much, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Right now, the British have the most at 53%. Wow. I, I get it, you British jerks. What I need to start doing is moving, uh, trying to take more of Malacca, because that is key to the spice. Because you can get, send it straight to the Cape of Good Hope. The spice must flow. Subject development. Ooh, Liberty Desire. Yeah, we're doing, li we're doing Liberty Desire. That'll help out. I got a lot of assholes. I got a lot of assholes. Also, the English are jerks. Don't need this guy anymore. The fleet is growing larger. We're building ships everywhere. Yeah, we're only at 319. We're going up to about 370. And uh, we can go... Oh, the Pope. I think he just moved. Yep, he did. He just kind of scrooged along. 72 years left. And it's, it, I'm still having a good time. That's what I like about this. Still having a good time with it. Still, still improving. Still plat, plotting my next war. Tax modifier, manpower modifier. That's what we need. Manpower. Get that number up. Try to boost it. So, I mean, like, we've got 151 in the field, but we've only got... 84,000 on the continent, which is kind of the problem, because at this point in the game, the continental armies range in the hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. I was say, a lot, I don't know if we should make any of this stuff states, or just leave it as a trade company. Usually I just make sure, I just leave it all as trade company. I don't think we have anything anywhere else. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. The spice must flow as it as 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 it, as it is. The spice must flow. So I can make another army. 
have three continental armies. Coal. Uh, let's see here. Menu. Oh, there we go. We got coal. Some delightful, delightful coal. Uh, let's go ahead and check a couple things. Training fields. I guess anything in the hundreds, we're going to just go ahead and do. We need more manpower. It's hard to fight continental wars when my, you know, so much of my military is overseas, all over the place. We've got, we got fortresses building all over the place, training fields building all over the place, ships building all over the place. We got stuff building everywhere, guys. How much of the English Channel do we own now? 47%. That's much better than it was. It's basically a almost a dead heat between me and England. And I can't... Ooh. Suck it, England. Let's see. I can do one of these two. Let's see. This one... Which one produces more? Oh, this one produces way more. Oh, no. I can't do that one. But I can do this one. There we go. Let's see what that does. Fifty percent and oh, um, uh, hmm. status is global trade power, naval force limit modifier, modifier and republic tradition. This is lower republic tradition, land force limit modifier and stability cost. Um, I think we're gonna go orangey for now, just because of the more power points. Quality, uh, quantity next, baby. Yeah, what's the dev in Dutch Brazil? Uh, 264. 264, pretty high. I think what, we, what I want to do is um, wait for a lot of these. Uh, ooh, Coke Blast Furnaces. Coal and iron provinces are now likely to get trigger, uh, more likely to trigger industrial elevations of it. Sweet. Um, we'll get, let a lot of these fleets finish up. Um, then maybe build up my war fleet. Maybe maybe we could do a little bit of that now. Yeah, like up here we're not building right now, so. There's a lot. Just do a bunch. We'll just do a bunch. Oh, both my leaders. Uh, you know, one was replaced and one died. Oh, not a bad one. This would be my current leader. Huh? Not bad either. There we go. Coffee and spices and spicy coffee. Because Austria is kind of like the next thing on the on the to-do list right now. What I'm wondering is if is 16,000 men over here enough to make any difference, or should I just haul these guys over to the Americas and or to the uh, to the old world, not to the Americas, from the Americas, and just use them as the core of a new continental army? Because I could. Although the transport fleet... You know what? Screw it. The transport fleet's on the other side of the planet. Yeah, this guy... The, you know what? No. Mm -mm. You're just going to hang out there for a while. You guys need to be upgraded. And I need mission. I need a. I need to finish some missions. Is what I need. I need to kill some Austrians. I need to finish some missions. So, like, if I declared war on ooh, Tuscany and Tunis, which means Tunis would definitely betray me. They allied with Tuscany as well. That sucks. Well, that turns that turns this whole thing into a much grander affair. Oh, but I need to kill this guy. I could do that using France.
Yeah, I could, I, could, I could do that using France. When's my thing end with them? 21. Two years. Not bad. All right, so you just friend, friendly go hang out over there, and you friendly go hang out over here. Just friendly. Vermont declare war on some natives. Uh, this is Vermont. They got a little army. I think I need to get a... I think I, what I need to do is I would have to go over here, threaten war. Oh, I can just threaten them and they'll give me shit. What's this one? Delaware. Give now. <laughs> awesome. That never works. Alrighty then. I ah, just shake my fist at them and they gave me land. That's great. Uh, how about you jerks? Oh, England. I've got a. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got. A, I got a maxed out noodle here. Um, it's land emergence. There we go. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. I mean, I am super powerful compared to them. But normally everybody just says no. Gain explore, explore with five tradition? No, thanks. I really don't need that. Spanish got that new world hard. No, they don't. I control, they control vast swaths of territory, but I control the territory that matters. I've got the high dev stuff. I would like to take the remainder of the Louisiana-like coastline in Texas. You know, like right through here and then maybe down through here. That'd be good. It's like, I got this, I got all this, I got this, I got this, I got all this. They got the inland stuff, but I got the, I, I control the trade. The spice must flow, my friend. The spice must flow. Can I threaten the Abenaki? Yup, I can. <laughs> awesome. That's an easy way to expand right there. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's time to do it again. I, this time we're going to do a template, though. Split the difference here. There we go. Another army. Half regulars, half mercenaries. In, just in the infantry. That j Just to thin out, you know, spread out the, uh, the manpower reserves a little bit. Let's spread it out a little bit. Help the situation. We got our New Guinea colony going for some reason. Oh, so those are some uh, some my, my new war fleet. Dutch Paraguay, Dutch Peru, Dutch Brazil, doing pretty good in the colonial game. Control vast swaths of territory. Pop these guys down here. This is the uh, the new heavies I just built. I only built like 10 of them or so. But you know. Okay. Manpower reserves are low again, but that's because we just recruited tens of thousands of new men into the military. Do, 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 do. So wait, that should, if I did, if I counted correctly, that should go up to 42,000. And then we'll just then we'll do our war and when uh, 1721 rolls around. What are we at now? Oh yeah, we still got what 
seven thousand. Oh, we got plenty. Yeah, we got way more coming. There we are. Thank you for joining. You'll be a integral part of the empire. Successfully raided. Love it. How, what are the size of those fleets now? 60, 60, 60, 55, 38. Uh, so they're just about done. I think they're just, some of them are just a little not merged right now. 32,000. We still, we still building. A military leader left us. Was it the guy over here? Yup. Well, he did a good job while he, while he survived. Keep training. And it's almost time. I wonder if France is small enough to vassal. For? Do, do it. it! I'm gonna, are we waiting to 1721? Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Uh, 1721 rolls around. We're declaring war on France. If I could vassalize France, I'm doing it. I don't know if they're small enough yet, though, but I'm hoping. Oh, I have a spare colonist. You can, you can help down here now. Oh, it's nice to have a powerful military on the continent now. So much more powerful than it was before. So much. Austria did... Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. You jerks. That was my dinner. How far away am I? Jan January. Missed it by a few months. Well, we're still gonna do it. We just have to wait till January. The water bottle is telling me to drink water? I can do that. There it is. Wait. Oh, this is, this is, you know, I guess I'll just wait and see how this turns out because that's the guy I wanted. And I'm pretty sure that Austria, Austria and Tuscany look like they'd be a tough fight together. Man, that, that would have been, before it was Austria and Cleves. And I love that even though we've been allied for like 200 years, Tuscany would turn their back on me. Oh no, it, uh, please don't tell me they, okay, well, it's over for the, for the guys that I, that, that I, that I care about. I just wanted to hit, I wanted to take that this is what I wanted. Oh, get off Eat my France. Eat a bag of dicks. Eat a bag of dicks. Kazuma, Eat thanks bag for the cheer. Thank you very much. This is what I wanted. Because I'm pretty sure I need that for a mission. This one? Yup. And I got and the last one I need for that is under Austrian control. So at some point, I've gotta go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Austria. some point I gotta do it I don't mind I don't mind at all you could just you could just do that because it doesn't matter there we go we'll just let a month tick by and then we'll how many merch do I have uh, about a few is there any way to actually see because I don't know um I don't know 40,000 I shed the blood of the Saxon men. Um, I would say about 40,000 maybe would be a probably an accurate estimate. Not like huge, but it's some. Oh, okay, that's fine. You don't want you don't want me to kill you just yet? I kill you later. Ah, ah, France had that one. Oh, jerks. I'll wait. I'll, I'll squat in your house. It's fine. I mean, the Brittany, Austria, Tuscany thing, man, that would be a fight. You could see it's on top next to colonists. Merchants? No, no, no. He, he said mercs, not merchants. 
mercenaries. I have 18 merchants, yes, but uh, um, he was asking me about... Well, unless there was a typo. Um, I can't get there now? I'm stuck here now? Why am I stuck here now? Well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, mercenaries, I think there's like 10,000-ish in each army. I wish there was a little, you know, you could see on here somewhere it said you had exactly this many mercenaries, but I don't think it tells you that anywhere. Might as well take this opportunity to increase the size of the battle fleet. Aid of assimilation and fick fack. Fuck fack. Fuck shack. Huzzah, they're done. And then we'll scrooge down. How many on the ledger? Let's take a look. Let's see. Armies. One tree. 49,000. I said 40,000, then it's 49,000. So I was close. See, Tuscany, oh my god. Tuscany has 200,000 men in the field. That's about a few. Whoa, there's French over here. Not only 900 of them, but you know, there's, there's French over there. I just want to, why are you on high? Uh, jerks. I shed blood of Sasha. I shed the blood of the Sasha. Uh, if you do, if you go to a build a merc, build a merc screen, it should show how many you can have versus how many. Okay, that would be here. We have eighty-eight units of infantry, thirty-two units of cavalry, seventy-four units of artillery. So that's, that tells how many I have. I don't see where it would say where I don't I don't see like the the current numbers on there though. And Austria, do you have any other anybody else I can proxy war you into? No. You're allied with Russia. I need an I, I I need it. Nobody, not a single country on the planet wants to be allied to me. Oh, because I'm at war right now. Right, that makes sense. Minus a thousand for war. Hey, Baltic. Make France. I might be able to make France my vassal at this point. Yes, probably. Of course, nobody wants to be allied with me. I'm in a war right now. So anything that was under. 999 should have been okay. Is this the French capital now? Where's France's capital now? Is the thing. Holy crap. It's in Australia. Well, I have I have an army and a fleet over here. Didn't see that coming, guys. And France moved their capital to Australia. All right, these guys are on low now, so I should be able to kill them. Yup. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Delightful. They were Walloonian, so they were mine anyways, by right. Ooh, the spinning Jenny. I gotta, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I decided to keep a, ooh, more coal, uh, an army. You know, available over there because it's now it's not that hard. Ottomans or Ming is an ally. Yeah, I need I need someone like Scandinavia or the Ottomans or Russia or something. It's just something something to mulch through a bunch of their manpower. You know, you want to you want to fight anywhere else on the world? I'm fine with it, but it's the problem arises when um. When we're, when we're, we're, you're putting 150,000 of my men up against, uh, 500,000 enemies. Oh, tea party. Unrest in Postal. Alright, keep going down the coastline, gentlemen. New Guinea shall be Dutch. Ottomans is my ally. Well, if they, if they'll accept it, I'll do it. 
I might not. France might be a little too big with all their their colonial stuff, all the little bits and baubles they have all over the world to vassalize. But we'll see where we are when we get to the peace screen. We'll see where we are. Is that Mamluks near Fak Fak? Yup. And Russians and the French and the English. Uh, also, add without the small amount of land to retreat, you might get overwhelmed. Exactly. Well, that's the problem I've had with the uh, with the Dutch is that, uh, I mean, it's only I've only had one stack wipe in this game, but there's you know so little land to maneuver in, hasn't been a big issue. I have school on Friday morning, so I can't catch the D, D streams, but I can get a character if you have the chance, preferably a DPS class. But anything is fine by me for Baltic Barbarian. Sure, Baltic, I can do that. Uh, I, I think I might have a full crew right now, but I'll make a, I'll make a note. D, D, Baltic. There we go. Made a note. Business is booming. Integration is a slow process. Well, that's just fine. If that's a problem, maybe perhaps form, uh, form, even form France. That is an option. If I kill France, I can crawl into their carcass. <laughs> All right, so we're just about done here. Uh, let's look at this. No, 105. They are 5% off for being able to be my vassal. Why is Russia in the Mamluks in Indonesia? Fuck if I don't. Don't know, guys. Don't know. So I really don't care about that land, but I am interested in anything they have elsewhere. Like over here, I'm definitely interested in this crap. Also that. Also this. You go back to... The, you get your ass back there where you belong. Um, I might just leave that as is because I'd like to try to vassalize them. Can you increase your absolutism? I, I, I don't... I, I could, but I don't think I could get it very high because I'm a republic. Oh, I can, I can vassalize the rest of them now. Oh, but I need more war score. Um, okay, I can do that. I can I can get more war score. That's doable. There we go. Murder! I need more murderology. I have a degree in murderology and murderotomy. Uh, I see how it is, you jerks. You wait for my armies to be murdering the French and then you revolt. Oh, you look at that! They took a thingy. To occupy the problems of the big tree for the peace deal. Oh, good. Let's get, let's get the occupation going then. Well, we can we can drag this out a little further. Should do a little dev though. A little bit of military dev is going to be great for my nation. Because manpower has been an issue for me. 106,000. We're getting better. Less. No! I'm not done with you. I'm still hitting. I still make me hit you harder, France. So what we'll do is we'll just hang out over here. Then we'll go kill that. We'll get our thing back. Then we'll go do these things. Get a little bit more. Stuff. It'd be amazing if you start a reconquest on their behalf and give them back all their land. I have fought France. I like millions of Dutch people have died fighting the French. I fought them, you know, like in four legit, like massive, gigantic wars, and then the rest of them were just these little piddly things towards the end here. I am not reviving the French culture. Absolutely not. Never. I did not drunk fight France last week just to give them land back. I've ever done a World Conquest run. Um, I have not finished one. I do regularly off-screen, not on-screen, because I think it's boring to do it on-screen, because I'm not that type of player. Um, I do regularly do test runs with uh, trying to do three mountains, you know, starting as Ryuku. Um, if you guys don't know, if anybody doesn't know, that's, that's this guy right here. Start as that guy right there and try to conquer the world. Um, and I've gotten to the point where it was possible for me to do, but I didn't have the patience to do it because I am not a patient man. 
Uh, normally, World Conquest runs require a fair deal of micro. And I'm not a very intensive micro player in this game. Like, I, I, I'm, you know, partially there, but not hard enough to try to do that. So I've gotten to the point in is Ryuku where I think where I'm the most powerful nation in the world. And I've got, you know, 200 years left in the game to just mulch through the planet. And then I normally end up just going, you know what? I don't think I'd enjoy doing this for hours and hours on end, so... Uh.